Stable Diffusion 2.0 was just released and it is amazing. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So the Stability AI team just released version two. They promise big improvements and incredible new features. Let's have a look at what that means. A very important step here is the new text to image diffusion model. This was trained on a new open clip text encoder. This will give you better understanding of the text of what you mean to get better results in the image. But on top of that, it now can also create images that have a base resolution of 768 by 768. So we start with already higher resolution before we upscale. Right now on the screen here, you can see two examples that have been rendered in 768. And you can see they have a lot of detail look very nice. Another huge improvement is the new super resolution upscaler. This can create images up to 2048 by 2048, which is really good if you want to sell your AI images, if you want to create prints with them, and also the quality is highly improved. So here in this example, you can see on the left side, a 128 pixel image and on the right side, a 512 pixel upscaled image and you can see how much more detail is in there and how high quality the result is. Absolutely mind blowing. Next, and this is my absolute favorite, is now we have a depth to image diffusion model. This will analyze the depth that is found in the image and then render the images based on that so that you have a more coherent output from the image to image rendering. This is extremely important, especially when you want to have style transfer, when you want to apply your prompts to a specific composition in the image that should not change by the output. So you can see here multiple examples where the composition, the head position is the same, but the prompt, the output is different. And you can see that this is based on the depth map that will keep everything in place and give you much better control over your creations. Another element here that is extremely important is a new in-paint model. And as I have shown you in my video yesterday, you can use in-painting as out-painting to get much better results and have a lot of control over what you're getting by extending these images. So that will enable you to create any kind of ratio with high quality and nice details, but also to put new details into the images you have already created. This is the first step of the rollout. And because these new models are so different, the web UIs you're using need to be updated first. But you can already find Stable Diffusion 2.0 on the GitHub website. And if you have the technical ability, there are also instructions here how to set this up right now. You can also use an online demo to test version two. But as you can see here, this has a long queue. So when you enter your prompt, hit the generate image button again and again until you are in the queue and then just wait until this runs out. You can see mine is still running. Sadly, Stable Diffusion 2 is not yet available on the Dream Studio AI website, but I'm pretty sure they will update that soon. The Automatic 1111 project has yet to be updated, but in their discussion forum, you can find a lot of different links to download the models. So if you have the technical ability, jump in there, download these things, experiment with them. I will update you as soon as Automatic 1111 is ready and show you how to use it, including the in-painting and the depth map, if that is available. Hopefully that is going to be available as soon as possible. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.